Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtigore Band here, and today I am bringing you another part to my Caledonic campaign for Total War Rome 2 Empire Divided. And as you can see, we are sieging the last settlement of the Abdani, well, really their only settlement for that matter. And uh, we are poised to win over there. But if we look over to the north, they've actually landed another of their invasion forces to take us on at Eladon. However, I have a pretty substantial force there as well. And if they are in forced march, I think that they can reach Stanwick, but I don't think they'll be able to attack right away because I have uh, walls there. So I think that we're safe for now. Uh, so we do have some money that we can use to upgrade things. Um, not sure if I was planning to save that for something. Maybe the military wharf or just upgrading Camelodonum in general might be a good idea. Um, so you have to watch a squalor in this province. Dismantled cult building, minus four. Well, that's fine. I don't really care too much about that. Uh, we could get some chosen sword band as garrison. And public order. Actually, this will unlock uh, painted warriors. So let's go for that there at Camlodonum because this is where we're going to be staging our invasion forces across to Gallic Rome. And let's take a look. Can we... Further our relations we with these guys here. Until our guts That's high. Can we get some overuse. payment for that? Very nice. So they've accepted that. They have what about a military speech. alliance? They're not interested in that right now. I agree. I'm surprised. Oh, oh okay, good. I've discovered some others. Uh, how do they like the Franks? Uh, they're at war with each other, the Saxony and the Langobards, so I'm going to stay out of that for now because I cannot trade with either one. So I'll just leave that. We've got our king over here, and we will be able to start to get some painted warriors in his army very, very soon, which is excellent. But without further ado, let's jump into this battle. Uh, it's says it's going to be pretty easy, but yeah. let's fight it anyways. Alright guys, welcome to the battle map here, and I've already deployed all of my troops where I want them, but I'll go ahead and show that for you now. Uh, so this is a pretty standard city that we see with the barbarians in Rome too. Uh, so I've got two of my sword band units and two of my Celtic archers, so they will be coming down this area here. And I probably actually will just choke point off and then use my archers to fire down. And then the rest of my sword band, four units with my three units of Highland archers, will come up over to here. And again, I'll be using my archers to just pepper them down. And then I've got all my shock troops, my five units of painted warriors. We did lose one of them in that really regrettable naval battle where we won, but just barely. Uh, so we only have five of them left, but they're going to come right on down this way uh, towards the center. And then I've got all my cavalry that will be pouring in around the flanks, and I'm also watching to see if they land any of their ships over on this side. So let's go ahead and start the battle. Uh, looks like their ships actually are just going to land right in the center, which is fine. Uh, so let's move up Enemy our... Reinforcements approaching. Oh, they have reinforcements. Right, they're uh, ships. So let's bring our archers up here. And over on this side, let's get our archers here with our swords right in front in uh, nice thick blocks. Start to move these painted warriors up here. And what do they have for their reinforcements? Sword band, sword band, sword band, chosen sword band. So... What I'm going to do is actually bring my cavalry to the center because I'm worried that I'm going to be outflanked over here. So I'm going to have to watch that and uh, keep an eye on it. Hopefully I can just use my general and those other two units of light horse, I think these are. Yeah, Celtic horsemen. Uh, to just run them down. 
And it looks like they're actually just going to let me come right in, which is fine. So let's even push up a little bit uh, closer than that there. And let's get my archers up even closer as well, see if we can get them in range. Our hidden units have been discovered. And we've got some hidden units that are being discovered. That is fine. Let's pour in through the city here. Come up over onto here. Where are they? I love these painted warriors. They look so good. Very Celtic-like. Our hidden units have been discovered. To war, men. Slay these treacherous Irishmen. Slay my countrymen, please. Where are they coming for? Yeah. See, because I think they've monopolized the dock. I don't think they can land too many more right in the center like that. Here we go. Looks like we got the general charging forwards here. He's about to get a ton of Pila right in his face, but... Oh, yep. Oh, yes. Excellent. Very nice there. Okay, so let's uh, turn on the HUD here. That general is already wavering. That is excellent to see. Yeah, just slam into them. Let's get these archers forwards even more. Let's get these guys moving forwards. And these painted warriors are just going to have to charge in because they do not have Pila, so they need to get their charge bonus going. Just pushing in on all sides. Uh, I've got my cavalry over there just in case. And I'm kind of in danger of clumping my forces over here. Uh, let's spread out, guys. The battle is turning in our favor. Of course it's turning in our favor. Alright, let's uh, tell these guys to stop firing. Same with these guys as well. And I'm not sure where they're going to land, but let's get all of our archers down here to kind of be ready to fire on the troops that come in. And let's get my cavalry in over here as well. I want them to kind of be over on this flank. Let's get the painted warriors. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Uh, let's get them kind of in behind. And the Celtic swords still in behind them. And we can just fast forward this. It looks like they're wavering already. But they're actually going to be coming in over on this side, so that's fine. Let's bring our riders back. Let's look at this glorious, glorious Caledoni army. Yeah, we utterly destroyed them. This light horse should actually be enough with the general to finish them off. They're actually landing on the shores, like, but in the water, too. That is really cool. I like that. And they broke as soon as they landed. We'll still get a nice charge, though. There we go. Oh, throwing some Pila in, in the sides of my cavalry, though. There we go, another nice charge. Nope, they're just going to pass on by, I guess. Come on, guys. Our general is under attack. And there we go, victory. So, actually, we do not need to continue because we have won the battle there and it's a settlement so they should not return. So I'll see you back on the campaign map.
All right, so a very successful battle there. I only lost 150 men, which is really, really good. Uh, if we hover over some of my sword band, doing very nice. 135 kills there, 144. Uh, my archer is not getting too many kills, but my painted warriors as well. They're just so deadly, 134, 143, and 107. So let's go ahead and occupy that settlement there. Ready for and we got an increase in rank. Their fleet is retreating. What? No way. Oh, they're destroyed. So I guess they don't just have attrition. I can't remember if that's if that's what it was like in Old Rome too, or because I I know in Attila, so maybe it's different. But it, like when you take their last settlement, they just start to take loads of attrition. But oh, good. So that that's even easier then. So, what do we want here? Authority, morale, recruitment costs. That's always good. Could get more morale. Uh, battle run speed. Authority and morale. Just trying to see what else I might want here. See, because we're already getting... Morale from this. So I don't really need more morale. And battle run speed. Don't really need to worry about that. Melee attack for cavalry might be nice. Melee defense skill. Navigator. And this is for the commander's unit, basically. Let's go ahead and give him the campaign movement range and melee defense. And he can just relax over there while we bring this army back down to the king. Because there's really no need for us to have a, an army present up there anymore. And yeah, the whole of the British Isles is ours. So... Well, I think this is part six, so maybe a little slower than than some of you guys, but uh, at the same time, we did suffer quite heavily against the Abdonians on a number of occasions. Uh, but I think we traded a number of casualties to them as well in the battles, and it really just wasn't enough for them to expand. They kept trying to go after Eladon, but that was kind of a mistake. Anyways, so I, I think actually we could probably just force march this army down because I am I am ready to go up against Gallic Rome over here. Uh, they've got this settlement over here, so I'm probably looking at uh, going for this one, Derioritum. Then we got Cenabum, and where's Bibracti? Bibracti here. And then this settlement, hopefully the Franks will lose that. And then I'll have a whole a whole province here to kind of jut into the Gallic-Roman Empire. We'll probably head down towards Spain over here. We got the Hispanic uh, Confederation. But anyway, so let's end the turn there. That's kind of too bad, too. I was excited to get that Abdani battle going. Kind of a last hurrah. But I guess they weren't going to break into my force anyway, or my city anyways. I had more men there than I had ever had before. And they failed previous attempts. So there we go. Mission successful. And we got both of the bonus objectives as well. So we've got a plus 6,000 to our treasury. Um, and then this is the next mission. So we got to subjugate two different factions by capturing their last remaining settlement. And I think that the... Oh, we might actually get that next turn. Establish trade relations with Gallic Rome. That's not going to happen. Razor sack at least one settlement of this faction. So we've got to get uh, Gallia, which is what we were talking about. Swaby, which is way over here. Lusitania. 
and Sisaphalia. So yeah, we're basically looking at uh, all of Hispania and Gaul and a little bit of uh, Germany as well. Anyways, we've got 10 grand, so we're going to go ahead and uh, put it back into our infrastructure. So we've got a harbor here. Uh, what does Eblana need, actually? They're the same culture as us, so let's go ahead and upgrade Stanwick. And Camelodonum. And that's already almost all of our... All of our food. Or, sorry, all of our money. Grove of Nodens. Our food situation is doing well. Public order, sanitation... Let's get a grove here. Give us an extra 50. I could give us more food, but it's going to give us plus two squalor. Going to probably have to build another of these mineral springs, but this is also going to give us sanitation as well, so I think we can afford that. Good, so that is some much needed much needed construction there. Oh, again with me just spacing out. It's because I it's I, I'd, I'd start to talk about one thing and then I just forget and start thinking about something else. It's pretty bad. But yeah, most most of our settlements are very happy as well, so we'll bring this army down to Iska and we'll kind of have a two-pronged assault which I will be looking forward to. How we look in as far as... Don't really need to hire a statesman. We're still holding 90%. We've got zero risk. We could actually start to look at moving towards an empire. Because an empire might be useful. It's going to cost 10 grand though. So we'll leave that for now. These guys, yeah, they're, they're pretty weak. I could secure their loyalty, but there's just not really any need for it right now. Good. Uh, are the Franks willing to go into an alliance with My us? Friend, or? Be welcome. The spirits of this place no, they're not. Uh, we could try and see if Gallic Rome Speak will give us firm. peace. No, they won't. We're just going to have to start taking some of their settlements. Which I am more than happy to do. So let's do another end turn here. Oh yes, and it might be a good idea to bring my spy down as well. There we go, mission successful. We knew we weren't going to get the bonus objectives, but that's all right. Now we got to completely control four provinces. Rotten food, uh-oh. That's not good. All right, so let's go ahead and upgrade you. Let's upgrade you. Let's get you to the growth of Rose Meta. And you, what do I want? Well, you've got a lot building over here. Let's probably get the military wharf over here to get some decent ships. Or scratch that. Let's just get that for now. Although that's going to give us exactly the same amount. So that is fine. Let's get these guys down to Iska. And you... Let's transfer you, all of the army to the king. 
And then you, sir, go to Eberakum. Actually, go over to Stanwick. Actually, stop, stop. I just realized because we're going to be getting this in one more turn. And then we can actually get some decent units into your army. Uh, and then we will fill this army up before we move across. At Iska, we're pretty close to being ready to push in. I think we'll go after this coastal settlement first. And actually, to be honest, I think we could just go for it. So let's actually just go right across here. Uh, they do have this little fleet here that is raiding. I hope that they do take this settlement back because I want to take that one for myself. And then we'll have the first two, and then we just have to push down and then cut them off at Berbracti. And then one of the armies can go one way uh, to the left, and the other army can go to the right. And this should help us to build a capital to be able to uh, build another army for maybe some one of our new guys here. Yes, yeah, so we got this guy here. Minus five tribal chiefs. But that should be all right. I haven't actually looked if we can secure any promotions for any of our guys. Well, we can for this one, but... Can give this guy a promotion, but... Ah, why not? He's done really well for us, so I think that's fine. Yeah, so now he owns 13% versus 87, but that's going to save us some coin uh, once we start building up an army for him. So let's do another end turn. to remember to bring that spy with me as well. I keep saying that, but then I forget about it as soon as the turn starts. There we go. There we go. We got the bronze workshop. And before I forget, let's get this spy going over here. Get these guys over across the sea. They're fully healed as well. And let's see what we could get here. So yeah, we got the painted warriors. These Celtic swords actually would be a decent step up from my sword band. But I don't think I can afford them right now is the thing. But these painted warriors are pretty solid. Would like to get a few more of them into the army. But I think we need to just invest maybe a few more turns into our infrastructure. Hundred wealth from Chieftain's Hold. Let's get that. And that's pretty much all our money, actually. Can get one of these guys. That is not what I wanted. Oh, I can't even afford the other one. So that's fine. I'm not really in a hurry for that. Can leave you there. Can actually maybe go after this one. And Trevorum. That's a pretty small... Where is this other settlement? Argentorum? Argentorum and Bavacum. No matter, no matter. Yes. So they're going to be landing there next turn. And I hear my son starting to cry, so I guess he's getting up from nap early. So one more turn, and then we will end the episode. I at least want to get onto the sh the Gallic shores. I want to land my army. Oh, and there we go. Looks like at I 
Are you Leo Banner? Are you Leo Banner? Uh, yeah, looks like the Franks are going to lose that settlement after all. But it looks like they're going to be sending reinforcements over, but I don't think that's going to be enough to help out. Looks like the Langobards have been destroyed, so we can now look at the Saxons for some kind of uh, trade agreement now. Let's land them over else. here. And, oh, we're going to have to come right on around and go after Darioritum. But we've got a very elite general here, and that's where I'm going to leave it for now, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. The British Isles are under the control of the mighty Caledones. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this series so far, and I will see you in the next one.